family, friends. Now I have a girlfriend. Like this is previously, it's just like familiar places, familiar faces. It's, there's something like cozy about that. It's nice. Um, it's just usually once I get home, it's not long before I want to be back out there again. Areas that might have wolves, snakes, monk. Wolves really want not much to do with humans. Like, yes, there has been incidents with wolves in the past. Same with bears, same with cougars. Bad things happen, but it's just statistically unlikely. Is Mizzy your GF? No, she does live close by, though. I think. She's in Vancouver, isn't she? most underrated stream on Twitch, love it here, is Sabazo. Cheers with my coffee. Glad you like the stream. Um, is this stream underrated? I feel like for like actual travel streams, like, that is a good size stream. Like, it's big enough where you can still have a pretty personal conversation. Or, like, it, it's not so big that you can have a personal conversation. But it's big enough that, I don't know, there's a community around it. And I can actually do it full time. Oh, Brooks with the gift of sub to Sabazo. Hey. <laughs> Uh, Brooks, thank you so much for the gift of sub. Sabazo, welcome to the Twitch Bikers. Uh, where do you want to aim for tomorrow? That way. I don't know. Wherever we get to. That's the way I like it. Is there are people on Twitch who still don't know about the stream? I feel like the majority of people know that there's some dude that hitchhikes on Twitch. They've never watched it. They've never heard that much more about it rather than there's some random dude that streams hitchhiking. And then I go to TwitchCon and people are like, oh, you're that hitchhiking guy. They even know that like this channel is called Hitch. They're just, I'm the hitchhiking guy. Heard you met Melanakis? Yeah, I met Andy. He's a really cool guy. I've met a lot of people. I've met a lot of streamers. TwitchCon is really fun for that. Um, yeah, like, I, I just kind of came out of nowhere in 2018 and streamed hitchhiking through all of the United States and, and hitchhiked to TwitchCon, and all of a sudden, I don't know, people just knew who I was. It was the weirdest sensation. TwitchCon, the first time, TwitchCon San Jose was the weirdest weekend of my life. Because um, yeah, I don't have interest in being, like, known. I don't want to be popular. I don't want to be famous. But you felt like it at TwitchCon. Like, just walking around, people would see you. I didn't have the name Trevor that whole weekend. I was just Hitch. Well, that time I was Hitch underscore live, but people just called me Hitch. And they'd come up and talk to you because they wanted to talk to you. It was the weirdest thing.
It was fun for a weekend, but like people that are actually famous, like Hollywood celebrity movie star kind of the pop, famous pop star thing, that, that wouldn't be fun. Like anything outside your house is not private anymore because people recognize you and, and you just like that wouldn't be fun for a weekend once or twice a year. It's fun. You're the Twitch myth that everyone knows. Someone who knows someone who watched you at some point over the years. There you go. <laughs> That's me. I just don't think the stream, like, to the extent, like, that your biggest streamers and, like, the high thousands to 10,000 plus viewer kind of uh, counts. I don't, I don't think this content supports viewer counts that much higher than than it has because it's such a slow burn like in any given moment what am i doing i'm riding down the road really slowly or i'm eating food there's there's some big exciting payoffs here and there but like people people like that slow ambiance but it isn't like the 